Hi everyone, welcome back. In this video, I'll be showing you how to make zoom transitions from the sky to earth and sort of make global transitions between cities. If you're new here, my name is Danny James. Subscribe to the channel because I upload weekly gems which will take your editing onto a whole new level. If you happen to enjoy this video, kindly give it a like and without further ado, let's jump right into it. I'll open my Google Earth software right here. I will also link it down below so that in case you want to follow along, you can download it for free, install it for free and use it for free. Once you've installed the app and you've opened it for the first time, it should look like this. So all these are some tips to guide you through using this place. I'd advise you to read them because they're super useful. Just hit on close. Now on your left hand side, there is a tab for places. There is also a tab for layers. So you can move them up and down if you need to see them clearly. So I'll just zoom in right here. Now I have checked off these boxes. So let me just show you how it should look like. Maybe if you install it for the first time, it should have all the roads, uh, the weather and everything. So with the weather, it means that will, it will show you the clouds and that information. This is something which I wouldn't recommend because you want to make something very seamless. Off rip, I will turn off everything. I will turn off everything, even the roads and all that. Now from this point, we want to add some places so that we can zoom right into it. I'll come here into my search bar and search for Atlanta. Atlanta, Georgia. So let's just redefine the search. You can also go manually. So I want to be somewhere which is very urbanish. So here's Atlanta. It's brought me to this side. So I will zoom in. If you're not using a mouse, just use these controls to zoom in. And to do all that. So I'll keep on scrolling in. So I have sort of this landmark. Now I can cancel this search results so that I don't see this pin. Now let's select somewhere random as this place. Now we want to add a placeholder for this place so that we can click and go into it whenever we, we want to do that. So right here, there is this icon to add a place mark. Just click on it. You can do this. Let's just start by giving names Atalanta. And then you can add a short description, point A. And then you can have this icon as it is and then you can click OK. So this is our first point and you can see it has been labeled right here. Now the disadvantage of labeling this is that these names will be sort of uh, on your screen, which is not something we want. So I'll right click here. I'll right click here and delete this. I'll show you an easier method. Just click on this icon. Make sure to not give it any names. Make sure to not give it any icon. So choose no icon and then choose OK and then hit OK. So it will just be a tick which is right here which will bring us into this place. That's a very important detail, otherwise you'll run into some dialog boxes which you won't like. From here, I will zoom out completely using my scroll wheel. Go up, up completely, somewhere like here. At this point, you can add another place mark right here, click on it. Don't give it any names, make sure it has no icons. It and then hit OK. So here's the second point and here's the first point. So if I double click on our first point, it should automatically zoom in into our town. This is exactly what we're looking for. The more you click between the zoomed out and the town itself, it will automatically cache some of this data into your local drive and it won't have these pixelated sort of view of the earth and it will have this hd resolution so remember you can always come into your view and you can change your view size if you want something which is bigger i'm just talking on a 1280 by 720 just experiment the different things and the next step is actually just screen recording i'm currently using these obs stream labs uh, you can use any recording uh, software you have and it should work perfectly I will also add another city. So let me just look for Dubai, put it on my search bar. And then it should take me all the way to Dubai. Now I will zoom in just somewhere. So you can see it hasn't loaded the uh, an HD version, but it, it's doing so. And we already have something good going on. So I will add a place mark right here also. I'll hit that place mark. I won't add any details and click on OK. I will also cancel my search and like that. So we know 
the middle icon here will represent the sky and the first one atalanta and the third one dubai so this is a way we can transition between cities so if you have your if you have your screen recording uh, on i guess it's time now to start making this recording remember you can also disable some of these items by coming here on your view and then toolbar i can disable this toolbar let me see if we can disable anything okay we've disabled these compass and items so make sure to have everything off except this sidebar because we'll need it to sort of uh, choose between these areas so i wanted this sidebar and not the toolbar so let's click double click on our sky and it should take us here and then you can click on our first location which is in atlanta And then you can click back to the sky and then you can click again to Dubai and it looks very seamless. Okay, so that's it. So once you've done that and you've screen recorded your screen, it's time to go with this footage into our editing software. So let me see in a bit. Okay, so we are back now on my editing software and I've already dragged the clip, the screen recording and I've made an in and out. I will drop that video into my timeline. It has made a 1920 by 1080 file. Now it's time to trim the parts which I want to use. So I will go until... Okay, so it starts right here. I'll hit Control K to make an edit to cut that clip off and then I will go on until it zooms into the into this place so right after here I'll make a cut so you can use Control K you can also get the razor and make that cut back to my selection tool I will move that clip to the right so I have this clip which has exactly what I want the zooming in from the sky to Atalanta so that's really good. I'll move it here. I've also brought in uh, some B-roll footage. Uh, it's overlooking a city, so it should work out pretty well. Right here on this clip, I'll bring in the crop effect so that we can uh, decide which areas we want to select out. So I'll drag this crop effect. Go to my effect controls. We'll crop it from the left-hand side. This is a better method compared to... You can also use masking. It's only that this should be a faster and accurate way. So I'll crop up to there and then I'll crop it also from the top up to there. I can also crop parts of these uh, of the bottom if you don't want these areas. That's good. Now I can move this clip where I want it. I can also scale it just to ensure that it fills the entire screen. So that's it. So this is about 10 seconds. So it zooms in. Yeah, so it zooms in very well. If you want to make it go faster, you can use your rate stretch tool or you can also right click, go to speed and duration. If you want it to go much faster, you can have it go at 130. That's a very easy way. Now I'll show you how to infuse this footage with some B-roll. So I'll bring in some B-roll from my project. I'll bring in this B-roll, make an in and out. Sorry, uh, just a quick in and out and place it right here so right before it gets onto that landmark it's where I want this clip to come in so I will trim this and then I'll put it right here and then uh, let me just scale it so that's good so now to make a good transition between these two this part and this part of the b-roll i just go into the middle hold shift go to the right hand side once make a cut again in the middle go to the left hand side make a cut i also get questions from my comment section people asking me why do i have to nest instead of adding an adjustment layer i just tried uh using an adjustment layer and it didn't work because i tried adding a brightness and contrast which didn't really work for some effects, the effect has to apply on the clip itself instead of just on an adjustment layer. So I'll go for my brightness and contrast. And I'll also get a camera shake. I have I have shared several tutorials on this. You can use a Red Giant Universe or a Sapphire Shake. I'll just add this one. Go to my keyframes. I'll add a keyframe for brightness right at the middle. So shift right at the middle. I'll make sure brightness it's at 100. 
and in the beginning make sure it comes to zero at the end make sure it comes to zero so it should go like this again this is not very bright so i will duplicate this Control c Control v so we have our second brightness and contrast right here and then for the camera shake you can just reduce the amplitude you can do all of all these things from this shape control let's just preview this yeah that's good you can also add a blur a gaussian blur into this go to the effect controls have the blur at around 16 that's okay repeat edge pixels and let's preview this so that's a really good transition from the sky to the earth i also showed you how to transition from one city to another it will just apply the same principles make sure to cut your clip very well so let me just do it quickly i'll copy the keyframes or generally i'll copy all the attributes and paste it into our into our screen recording right here so we'll paste everything that we did so this is a perfect uh, shot now yeah so you remember we cut this first clip this first uh, side of the clip so it went right into atalanta it went right into atalanta then it zoomed out and then we went into dubai so there's really nothing to do here but just to play the clip at is, as it is remember you can adjust the speed and duration however you want and also the poses As you can see, this is a very easy way to do a city to city global transition uh, on Adobe Premiere. So that's it from me today. If you made it this far, thank you for watching this video. If you enjoy such content, kindly give it a thumbs up and subscribe because I upload weekly tutorials that will make your editing game way, way better. My name is Danny James. See you in the next one. Cheers.